collar, where to put the vertical ridges. And then we'll break up into the small groups and you guys can try it. Remember, we want to prevent the neck from flexing forward. So the vertical one bend has to be vertical from the chin to the sternum or the, the upper part of the chest, the breastbone, right? We don't want the head to bend side to side. So where do two more vertical ridges need to be? Exactly, vertical from the side of the neck, from about the ear down to the shoulder. And then because the patient is most likely going to be lying on a backboard or your toboggan sled, you don't really need to worry about the hyperextension of the neck. If somebody is sitting up, you would want to add that fourth vertical bend at the back of their neck, and that is an option for you. When you break into your small groups, you're welcome to have the, the person you're working on lie down on the floor or sit up in a chair, do it whichever way you feel will be most adaptable to what you guys are doing. Remember that tonight is a training session. It's a night to introduce you to some of the things that you can do with the Santa Splint. You're not going to be the expert when you leave the room, and so I encourage you all to get a Sam Splint and practice, practice, practice. So on the hill, you're not thinking, okay, what did Cheryl tell me to do next? How do I do this? So I will try and talk my way through it. And if I could have a victim come up here. Can we go with this? Yeah, that's great. John. Thank you, John. Yeah, great, great. John, you're so tall. <laughs> And if you want to come up close to the mic, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. That work? Yeah. And I'll hold this up in the air and show you as I am uh, putting each maneuver into the sand splint. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the sand splint about three inches in from one end. Doesn't matter which end, just bend it in three inches. Then I open it up to a 45 degree angle. This is going to be the first vertical bend that will go underneath his chin. I am going to now bend the top edges back to make a shelf for his jawbone. So you can see there's kind of, and we'll pass this around and help you guys in your small groups too. I just want to show you what it's going to look like once it's on Jim? John. <laughs> if you need to stand up to see you guys, move around. You're not, uh, the chairs are not, we didn't put blue on them tonight, so you're welcome to move around. Notice that this is just going to go right on his chin. It doesn't go underneath, underneath his chin. It doesn't go up and over his chin. It goes right underneath his jaw to provide that nice support for that. Just push it all the way down. Then you loosely just wrap the other end of the sand splint around. You can make a, another bend on the other side. Notice that John's neck is a little bit long, and this does not hit his chest right here. He has about an inch of space remaining. So what I'm going to do now is take the other half of this. Yeah, you got it. You have an idea already. What's your name? Larry. Larry. All right. And I slide that down, and I put a piece of duct tape or whatever kind of tape you guys use right there to hold it. And this is that first initial brace to support that flexion and prevent the flexion of the neck. We'll pretend like he's lying down. And then you make wings on the side and making the vertical bends on both sides. And then I'm going to just snug it up so that you can put the horseshoe collar on or the sandbags or whatever you want to complete the immobilization. Fast, easy, adaptable. Okay, snug it up a little bit. What do you think, John? <laughs> it's more comfortable than, than the plastic ones, that's for sure. Um, I'd say that's every bit as rigid. Okay, the important thing is when you guys do this is try it on yourself if you want to. I'm going to put it on me and you'll notice that I don't overlap the distance because my neck is about the exact height for this. It's like they made this for me. I hope not, but... <laughs> So it goes right here on my chin. Now you can see too, John. This end is bent around. I wrap it, and that's the vertical, uh, the vertical bend. 
You can even do it on yourself if you have to. Squish the sides, make the wings, and then tighten it down. There you go. There it is. And your piece of tape right there. Okay, so that was a fun time. You guys get to do that. And just remember, three steps. Fold it in on both ends. Take one end, make the shelf for the jaw, wrap it loosely around the neck, vertical bends on the sides, tighten it down. Pretty simple. Okay, break up into groups.